Good morning to all traders and welcome to the uh, last daily market insights video for the week. Today is Friday the 21st of June and we are expecting uh, some interesting uh, events to happen in the markets as well as of course the um, some end of week uh, flows to kick in. Now a falling US dollar following Wednesday's FOMC meeting and Fed's uh, language shift has, um, has helped all pairs gain against the greenback as markets now become more cautious around future monetary policy setting and about um, more rate cuts coming from uh, now a number of banks pretty much. Now yields dropped below the 2% benchmark I would say yesterday as investors now uh, tend to the bonds, uh, to the US bonds as risk um, around global economies grow. Now that of course lets the euro <clears throat> and the Canadian dollar uh, soar uh, to interesting levels, along of course with other press. Uh, but Euro and Canada are uh, the two ones that um, they are interesting to, 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 to see from a technical perspective, also from a, from a macro perspective uh, for the day, because we are expecting the European PMIs, a number of, okay, and we have also a report for this coming. Uh, is already out and we'll have one for Canada coming out very soon for the retail sales. So it will be interesting to watch what's happening with the market, market manufacturing PMI in Europe. How trade, uh, the trade spot is, is affecting uh, German manufacturing and of, of course the auto sector mainly. Um, and then of course we'll have retail sales in Canada. Um, later on the session, we'll have market fund and manufacturing PMI, as well as the existing home sales in the US. Another one actually interesting to watch. For, for that reason today, we're going to watch, we're going to um, analyze Euro dollar as well as dollar card. Okay, so without further ado, Euro dollar, we were expecting an ABC correction to finish around that level, right? But that didn't happen. This turned now uh, as an ABC, uh, as, a, as an impulse to the downside with, with an A wave here, potentially a corrective wave B up to 113.15. And then we could see prices moving lower for wave C. Now, both MACD and RSI uh, are supporting a, uh, you know, a move to the downside. The question now is, remains, is this the, the, uh, the high that we've seen for this, uh, for this week or for this sort of pattern or not? In, cases, in case these uh, prices don't go above that level, right, we're most likely going to see uh, a correction uh, as an expanding flat down below that level, okay, and wave two will actually be down here, and then we can expect prices to go all the way up for wave three. Uh, the other scenario, if we go down on the one hour chart, I can show you more. Uh, details here. Again, an impulse wave to the downside with two having been completed here. Uh, so the ABC is indeed ending there, okay, 13150, but wave C, it goes, uh, is limited. So that would turn out to be a, a running flat, okay, with prices probably ending around the 61 extension, the 61.8 golden ratio of this uh, impulse wave, which is around 1.12, a very good psychological level as well. Obviously, in case that happen and prices move lower, we want to see uh, the RSI and MACD are uh, giving us a very good signal, both of them, uh, to the upside as prices fail to cross below 111.80. Um, now, of course, don't forget that uh, the wave A and B extension are coming down to 111.50, okay? So, um, of course, if that stands out as an expanding uh, triangle, we should see prices falling down that level, around that level, okay? Uh, and that would be wave two. And again, uh, as I said, you know, expecting bulls to kick, to come in with uh, big volumes around that level. Now, of course, uh, both of those scenarios that I have presented could just fail, okay? So in that case, uh, invalidation level would be uh, around 114, to be honest, because in case this is an, exp uh, uh, it turns out to be an, an, an irregular, uh, then we would have wave A here, wave B above that level, and then wave C down there, okay? So we still would want to see some, um, allow a few pips here for wave B to, to, uh, to come in, if that were the case. If we break above 114, then uh, it, this is a different story. We're going for wave three, uh, extending a bit higher 
then a correction, and then over one, even 15, probably, most likely the case. Now, uh, down on the CADs, dollar card has done exactly as we were thinking, okay? We are in the, we have a uh, ABC correction here in the longer term. We talked about this uh, ABC and uh, two corrective waves uh, with intervening, uh, uh, you know, combination over down that level. And after these two correction levels with uh, two ABCs, we now are seeing a, an impulse to the downside. Okay, so with wave one, wave two, wave three expected to end around 131, then we'll have a correction, and wave five expected to end around 130, okay? Now, the uh, RSI and MACD are bearish, and are actually quite bearish. This is a sharp move to the downside. So, and now we actually have another sharp move to the downside, which normally, uh, I mean, so we should be expecting a correction over here, okay? We should be expecting a consolidation for wave four, it could be a triangle with a throw up to level four up here, okay, and then another move to the downside. Now, if we go down on the one hour as well to have a look what's happening there, um, so this looks like it's turning like a zigzag, okay? So we have uh, impulse, correction, impulse, correction, and then we should have another impulse and another correction, and then of course we're expecting for further cruise. Now, the thing is that as we stand, and looking at this first wave, the extension for wave three comes down to 131, okay? So I am expecting uh, wave five to push prices a little bit lower, and then from there go for the correction, and this is where we can start looking for uh, uh, bulls burst to step in for uh, the continuation of this impulse wave to the downside. Um, now, note, as before, you know, as I said, the MACD and the RSI are both very, very uh, oversold, and that means that um, we should be receiving a nice, uh, you know, bullish uh, hidden divergence signal very soon. So prices should go down here, and we should see that, something like that happening, okay? So that could either be for wave five, and then we expect the correction, uh, or it could just, uh, um, sorry, uh, the, the f wave five of three, right? So we could see that happening, and price is more the way up. Invalidation will be 132.38, uh, in case that, of course, price is close above that level, then we're looking at uh, shifting our, um, our view as well. So I wanna thank you for uh, watching for another day. Don't forget, end of the week today, we are expecting end of week flows to kick in. Uh, don't forget, we have already uh, created, um, written some reports for you for the EU uh, PMIs. There's another one coming for Canadian retail sales. And that's because uh, we want you to have everything you need, fundamentally and technically, to uh, be able to, um, uh, to, you know, to make uh, good decisions when you trade. I would recommend for that reason, of course, as always, that you keep an eye on our blog uh, is where we'll cover the latest news, probably trading ideas, and provide all the necessary tools a trader needs.